chemical control. The chemical control is brought about by chemical substances called hormones. These hormones are secreted by the endocrine glands, also known as the ductless glands. Very true to its name, these glands do not have any duct to transport their secretions. Thus, on production, these hormones are directly released into the bloodstream. Due to this, the hormones reach everywhere in the body through the glands, secreting them in particular places. The endocrine system shares its responsibility of control and coordination with the nervous system. Both the systems work in cooperation to integrate and control various body activities. The significant difference between the two systems is that the nerve impulses are rapid and are usually of short duration, while the hormonal action is much slower and long-lasting. Let us understand chemical control with an example. Suppose some animal, like a rabbit, is caught in a scary situation. Its body has to be prepared either to fight with the situation or to run away from there. Both are extremely complicated activities that will utilize a great deal of energy in controlled ways. If the body of the rabbit has to trust only the electrical impulses through nerve cells, then the tissues instructed to get prepared for the activity would be limited. On the other hand, if chemical signals were to be sent, it would reach each and every cell of the body and render wide-ranging needed changes. It is important that hormones should be secreted according to the requirement. We need a mechanism for this, called feedback mechanisms. For example, when the sugar level of blood rises, it is detected by the cells of pancreas which respond to the situation by producing more insulin. As the sugar level of the blood falls, the secretion of insulin is reduced.